the book of Enoch, section 1, chapter 10. Then said the Most High, the Holy and Great One spake, and sent Uriel to the son of Lamech, and said to him, Go to Noah, and tell him in my name, Hide thyself, and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed, and a deluge is about to come upon the whole earth, and will destroy all that is on it. And now instruct him that he may escape, and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. And again the Lord said to Raphael, Bind Azizel hand and foot, and cast him into the darkness, and make an opening in the desert, which is in Dudale, and cast him therein, and place upon him rough and jagged rocks, and cover him with darkness, and let him abide there forever, and cover his face that he may not see light. And on the day of the great judgment he shall be cast into the fire, and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted, and proclaim the healing of the earth, that they may heal the plague, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azizel, to him ascribe all sin. And to Gabriel said the Lord, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates, and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from amongst men, and cause them to go forth. Send them one against the other, that they may destroy each other in battle. For length of days shall they not have, and no request that they make of thee shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf, for they hope to live an eternal life, and that each one of them will live five hundred years. And the Lord said unto Michael, Go, bind Sanjaza and his associates who have united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. And when their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for seventy generations in the valleys of the earth, till the day of their judgment and of their consummation, till the judgment that is forever and ever is consummated. In those days they shall be led off to the abyss of fire, and to the torment and the prison in which they shall be confined forever. And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from thenceforth be bound together with them to the end of all generations, and destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers, because they have wronged mankind. Destroy all wrong from the face of the earth, and let every evil work come to an end, and let the plant of righteousness and truth appear, and it shall prove a blessing. The works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy forevermore, and then shall all the righteous escape, and shall live till they beget thousands of children. And all the days of their youth and their old age shall they complete in peace. And then shall the whole earth be tilled in righteousness, and shall all be planted with trees and be full of blessing. And all desirable trees shall be planted on it, and they shall plant vines on it. And the vine which they plant thereon shall yield wine in abundance. And as for all the seed which is sown thereon, each measure shall bear a thousand. And each measure of olives shall yield ten presses of oil. And cleanse thou the earth from all oppression, and from all unrighteousness, and from all sin, and from all godlessness, and all the uncleanness that is wrought upon the earth destroy from off the earth. And all the children of men shall become righteous, and all nations shall offer adoration, and shall praise me. And all shall worship me, and the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement, and from all sin, and from all punishment, and from all torment. And I will never again send upon it from generation to generation and forever. Chapter 11 And in those days I will open the store chambers of blessing which are in the heaven, so as to send them down upon the earth over the work and labor of the children of men. And truth and peace shall be associated together throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men. Chapter 12 before these things Enoch was hidden, and no one of the children of men knew where he was hidden, and where he abode, and what had become of him. And his activities had to do with the watchers, and his days were with the holy ones. And I, Enoch, was blessing the Lord of majesty and the king of the ages, and lo, the watchers called me Enoch the scribe, and said to me, Enoch, thou scribe of righteousness, go, declare to the watchers of the heaven, who have left the high heaven, the holy eternal place, and have defiled themselves with women, and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken unto themselves wives. Ye have wrought great destruction on the earth, and ye shall have no peace nor forgiveness of sin, and inasmuch as they delight themselves in their children, the murder of their beloved ones shall they see, and over the destruction of their children shall they lament, and shall make supplication unto eternity. But mercy and peace shall ye not attain. Chapter 13 And Enoch went and said, Azizel, thou shalt have no peace. A severe sentence has gone forth against thee to put thee in bonds. And thou shalt not have toleration nor request granted to thee, because of the unrighteousness which thou hast taught, and because of all the works of godlessness and unrighteousness and sin which thou hast shown to men. Then I went and spoke to them all together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them. And they besought me to draw up a petition for them that they might find forgiveness, and to read their petition in the presence of the Lord of heaven. For from thenceforward they could not speak nor lift up their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins for which they had been condemned. Then I wrote out their petition and the prayer in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually and in regard to their requests that they should have forgiveness and length. And I went off and sat down at the waters of Dan, in the land of Dan, to the south of the west of Hermon. I read their petition till I fell asleep. And behold, a dream came to me, and visions fell down upon me. 
and I saw visions of chastisement, and a voice came bidding I to tell it to the sons of heaven, and reprimand them. And when I awaked, I came unto them, and they were all sitting gathered together, weeping in Abel's jail, which is between Lebanon and Senesar, with their faces covered. And I recounted before them all the visions which I had seen in sleep, and I began to speak the words of righteousness, and to reprimand the heavenly watchers. Chapter 14 The Book of the Words of Righteousness, and of the reprimand of the eternal watchers in accordance with the command of the Holy Great One in that vision. I saw in my sleep what I will now say with the tongue of flesh and with the breath of my mouth, which the Great One has given to men to converse therewith and understand with the heart, as he has created and given to man the power of understanding the word of wisdom, so hath he created me also and given me the power of reprimanding the watchers, the children of heaven. I wrote out your petition, and in my vision it appeared thus, that your petition will not be granted unto you throughout all the days of eternity and that judgment has been finally passed upon you, yea, will not be granted unto you, and from henceforth you shall not ascend into heaven unto all eternity, and in bonds of the earth the decree has gone forth to bind you for all the days of the world, and previously you shall have seen the destruction of your beloved sons, and ye shall have no pleasure in them, but they shall fall before you by the sword, and your petition on their behalf shall not be granted, nor yet on your own, even though you weep and pray and speak all the words contained in the writing which I have written, and the vision was shown to me thus, Behold, and the vision clouds invited me, and a mist summoned me, and the course of the stars and the lightning sped and hastened me, and the winds in the vision caused me to fly and lifted me upward and bore me into heaven. And I went in till I drew nigh to a wall which is built of crystals and surrounded by tons of fire, and it began to affright me. And I went into the tons of fire and drew nigh to the large house which was built of crystals, and the walls of the house were like a tessellated floor of crystals, and its groundwork was of crystal. Its ceiling was like the path of the stars and the lightnings, and between them were fiery cherubim, and their heaven was water. The flaming fire surrounded the walls, and its portals blazed with fire. And I entered into that house, and it was hot as fire and cold as ice. There were no delights of life therein. Fear covered me, and trembling got hold upon me. And as I quaked and trembled, I fell upon my face, and I beheld a vision, and lo, here was a second house, greater than the former, and the entire portal stood open before me, and it was built of flames of fire. And in every respect it so excelled in splendor and magnificence and extent that I cannot describe to you its splendor and its extent. And its floor was of fire, and above it were lightnings in the path of the stars, and its ceiling also was flaming fire. And I looked and saw therein a lofty throne, its appearance was as crystal, and the wheels thereof as the shining sun, and there was the vision of cherubim. And from underneath the throne came streams of flaming fire, so that I could not look thereon. And the great glory sat thereon, and his raiment shone more brightly than the sun, and was whiter than any snow. None of the angels could enter and could behold his face by reason of the magnificence and glory, and no flesh could behold him. The flaming fire was round about him, and a great fire stood before him, and none around could draw nigh him, ten thousand times ten thousand before him, yet he needed no counselor. And the most holy ones who were nigh to him did not leave by night nor depart from him. And until then I had been prostrate on my face, trembling, and the Lord called me with his own mouth, and said to me, Come hither, Enoch, and hear my word. And one of the holy ones came to me and waked me, and he made me rise up and approach the door, and I bowed my face downwards. Chapter 15 And he answered and said to me, and I heard his voice, Fear not, Enoch, thou righteous man and scribe of righteousness, approach hither and hear my voice. And go, say to the watchers of heaven, who have sent thee to intercede for them, you should intercede for men, and not men for you. Wherefore have you left the high? holy, in eternal heaven, and lame with women, and defiled yourselves with the daughters of men, and taken to yourselves wives, and done like the children of earth, and begotten giant sons. And though you were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourselves with the blood of women, and have begotten with the blood of flesh, and, as the children of men, have lusted after flesh and blood as those also do who die and perish. Therefore have I given them wives also, that they might impregnate them, and beget children by them that thus nothing might be wanting to them on earth, that you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life, and immortal for all generations of the world. And therefore I have not appointed wives for you, for as for the spiritual ones of the heaven, and heaven is their dwelling. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth, and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies, because they are born from men and from the holy watchers as their beginning and primal origin, they shall be evil spirits on earth, and evil spirits shall they be called. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. But as for the spirits of the earth which were born upon the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on the earth, and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst, and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. 
chapter 16, from the days of the slaughter and destruction and death of the giants, from the souls of whose flesh the spirits, having gone forth, shall destroy without incurring judgment, thus shall they destroy until the day of the consummation, the great judgment in which the age shall be consummated over the watchers and the godless, yea, shall be wholly consummated. And now as to the watchers who have sent thee to intercede for them, who have been aforetime in heaven, you have been in heaven, but all the mysteries have not yet been revealed to you, and you knew worthless ones, and these in the hardness of your hearts you have made known to the women. And through these mysteries women and men work much evil on earth. Say to them, therefore, you have no peace. Chapter 17 And they took and brought me to a place in which those who were there were like flaming fire, and when they wished, they appeared as men. And they brought me to the place of darkness, and to a mountain, the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw the places of the luminaries, and the treasuries of the stars, and of the thunder, and in the uttermost depths, where were a fiery bow, and arrows in their quiver, and a fiery sword, and all the lightnings. And they took me to the living waters, and to the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a river of fire, in which the fire flows like water, and discharges itself into the great sea towards the west. I saw the great rivers, and came to the great river, and to the great darkness, and went to the place where no flesh walks. I saw the mountains of the darkness of winter, and the place whence all the waters of the deep flow. I saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth, and the mouth of the deep. Chapter 18 I saw the treasuries of all the winds. I saw how he had furnished with them the whole creation, and the firm foundations of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which bear the earth, and the firmament of the heaven. And I saw how the winds stretch out the vaults of heaven, and have their station between heaven and earth. These are the pillars of the heaven. I saw the winds of heaven which turn and bring the circumference of the sun and all the stars to their setting. I saw the winds on the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the paths of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the firmament of the heaven above. And I proceeded and saw a place which burns day and night, where there are seven mountains of magnificent stones, three towards the east and three towards the south. And as for those towards the east was of colored stone, and one of pearl, and one of jacinth, and those towards the south of red stone. But the middle one reached to heaven like the throne of God of alabaster, and the summit of the throne was of sapphire. And I saw a flaming fire. And beyond these mountains is a region the end of the great earth, that the heavens were completed. And I saw a deep abyss with columns of heavenly fire, and among them I saw columns of fire fall, which were beyond measure alike towards the height and towards the depth. And beyond that abyss I saw a place which had no firmament of the heaven above, and no firmly founded earth beneath it. There was no water upon it, and no birds, but it was a waste and horrible place. I saw there seven stars like great burning mountains, and to me, when I inquired regarding them, the angel said, This place is the end of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars and the host of heaven. And the stars which roll over the fire are they which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord in the beginning of their rising because they did not come forth at their appointed times. And he was wrought with them, and bound them till the time when their guilt should be consummated for ten thousand years. Chapter 19 And Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirits assuming many different forms are defiling mankind, and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as God, till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. And I, Enoch, alone saw the vision, the ends of all things, and no man shall see as I have seen. Chapter 20 And these are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels, who is over the world and over Tagars. Raphael, one of the holy angels, who is over the spirits of men. Regal, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries. Michael, one of the holy angels, to wit, he that is set over the best part of mankind and over chaos. Sarkel, one of the holy angels, who is set over the spirits, who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy angels, who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. Ramil, one of the holy angels, whom God set over those who rise. 